Hello students, welcome to Artificial Intelligence for Class 8. So this subject is recently introduced for you, okay. So this is your first class for this subject, alright. Now for the first lesson, the lesson name is Introduction to Artificial Intelligence. What are the learning objectives of this lesson? The first objective is to identify and appreciate artificial intelligence and describe its applications in daily life. The second one is relate, apply and reflect on human machine interactions. Third one is Identify and interact with the three domains of AI that is data, computer vision and natural language processing. So these three are very essential domains and I will show you, I will give you one hyperlinks okay, where you can visit and you can experience by yourself these three domains. Okay. So let's get started. Right. So, my question is when are we called as intelligent? Because artificial intelligence is about being intelligent. So we are called intelligent when we can give correct answer to people's questions. When we solve a difficult problem or a puzzle, when we can decide the correct action to be taken for a particular sequence, when we are learning something fast, when we are able to recognize many things and remember their names. When we can use clues to guess any answer. Okay. All these are examples of natural human intelligence. So, if a person falls in some of the categories that we, we have listed here, naturally that person is called as intelligent. Okay. So, what defines human intelligence? There are three factors. There are Okay, first one is ability to observe, recognize and understand the things which are around us. Then ability to make smart decisions and solve problems. Ability to learn and increase knowledge. Okay, so these all things sum up to the human intelligence. Right. So, Human intelligence involve gathering of information, storing of information, retrieving, analyzing, decision making and taking action on those decisions. Okay. Now, what is the difference between the human brain and the computers? Okay. Human brain is more analog, whereas the computer brain is digital. Okay. So, usually the people think that neurons, okay, you might have studied about the neurons, right, in biology or in science, neurons are the basic building block of our body's nervous system. So, Usually people think that the neurons are essentially binary as they fire an action potential if they reach a certain threshold. But there are a wide variety of continuous and non-linear process that directly influence neural processing. Whereas the computers, they are binary in nature which is either 0 or 1. So brain can perform much actions as compared to computer. Brain has content addressable memory whereas the computer has byte addressable memory. Okay. See, 
Typically in computers, the information which is stored in the memory is accessed by locating the exact memory location. So it is just like going to the bank, taking out uh, the items in locker number 10. Okay. Right. So that is the how the computers work as far as the memory is concerned. Whereas if we see about the human beings, we have content addressable. That means if we think something about school, okay, then what do we think of? We don't think even just only of school, but school building, friends, teachers, all our memories, they will come into our mind the moment we think about a particular thing. Okay. The brain is a parallel machine, whereas computers are stackable. Okay. See, brain can run and manage parallel operations. For example, you can eat while you are watching TV. Yes or no? But computer resources are often stacked. Means at a time, computer will be doing exactly one thing only. Okay. Then processing speed. Yes, that is the only thing which is lagging for the human brain that the processing speed of the brain is much lesser than that of a computer. Okay. Another difference is processing and memory function separation. See, the computer stores the data which is being processed in RAM, whereas the other data is stored in the secondary memory. Whereas, total processing and memory Okay, that work is done in the brain at one place only. Okay, so these were the key differences between human brain and the computer. Okay, now we will see about some real life experiences. Okay, while we are browsing on net, right. So, yes, Google search. So, I feel most of you have used Google one, once or more than once right so that to for searching so whenever you are searching your sentences are being auto completed and you start to get recommendations okay you have a facebook you open a youtube account facebook account or instagram account you will be getting recommendations or trending messages okay siri those who are the iphone or ipad users Okay, they have used Siri that recognizes your voice. Okay, for Android, it's okay Google, that Google Assistant. So, you know, all these things, they do have something in common, right? And what is that? What they are all are having common, that is artificial intelligence. Yes, these all applications are using artificial intelligence. Okay. So now we are having in front of us the words of Albert Einstein, the renowned scientist. Okay. I fear the day that technology will surpass our human interaction. The world will have a generation of idiots. Okay. Well, I do agree with this because sometimes we feel that we are becoming idiots. Okay. How? I will give you one, uh, one or two examples. See, earlier when we were having only landlines and no <coughs> mobile phones, at that time, we used to memorize hundreds of phone numbers. <coughs> but since we have got the mobile phones that capacity has decreased again when the mobiles were not there normally the calculations would be done manually but now we see more often the calculation even simple calculations are also done on mobile 
okay those calculations which were we could easily do on our fingertips for those also i have seen many doing now in the mobile okay so that is definitely killing our iq next statement is from stephen hawking another renowned scientist okay so what he said computers will overtake humans with ai within the next 100 years and when that happens we need to make sure that the computers have goals aligned with ours okay so what he says what he is emphasizing on computers must have the goals aligned with us that means the computers must be favoring the human race they must be favoring the human okay human beings otherwise what will happen you have already seen some movies some sci-fi movies like robo okay featuring rajnikanth right and the terminator series featuring arnold schwarzenegger right so many sci-fi's have been made thinking that once the computers will take over the artificial intelligence will take over at that time the humanity will be in a danger okay so that is why the stephen hawkins made a this observation one more observation he made that ai is likely to be either the best thing or the worst thing to happen to humanity for obvious reasons of course okay so now ai can enable human to focus on parts of their role that add the most value this is anonymous okay i could not find the source right anyways let us continue so what is artificial intelligence father of intelligence is john mccarthy okay so as per him it is the science and engineering of making intelligent machines specially intelligent computer programs okay it is a way of making a computer a computer controlled robo or a software think intelligently in the similar manner the intelligent human think it is accomplished by studying how human brain thinks and how human learn decide and work while try to solve a problem and then use the outcomes of this study as a basis of developing intelligent software and systems goals so what are the goals of artificial intelligence to create expert system okay that is the system which exhibit intelligent behavior those system which can learn demonstrate explain and advise the users to so implement human intelligence in machine so creating that kind of system which can understand think learn and behave like human beings okay so what are the fields that are contributing to artificial intelligence okay so we can see computer science psychology neuron science biology mathematics sociology philosophy so almost all the domains of academics are contributing to ai okay so what are the needs of ai so if you find i have not listed some of the needs then you can type in the comment box okay so to do the task that human want to avoid because of the risks involved to do the things faster to do things that require more power to be more accurate to overcome human inefficiency to achieve consistency to have machines as companions to understand how humans function and have evolved okay now if i say that you have your own personal artificial intelligence machine as your personal assistant 
ओके देन वुड योर आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंट मशीन नीड टू हैव एनी ऑफ द एबिलिटीज ओके दैट इज टू रिकॉग्नाइज यू एंड योर फ्रेंड्स टू अंडरस्टैंड एंड रेस्पॉन्ड टू स्पोकन और रिटर्न कमांड्स टू सी एंड डिफ्रेंशिएट बिटवीन ऑब्जेक्ट्स एनिमल्स एंड पीपल to go from one place to other place by themselves to play games to do creative work okay so if your answer is yes we already have machines with these capabilities okay so ai machines have made progress in learning the natural language they respond to naturally spoken and written language AI machines have made progress in learning facial recognition they recognize faces the gender age group ethnicity and emotions AI machines are developing computer vision to differentiate between objects like cats dogs trees walls people etc AI machines have made progress in learning to self navigate they can select a route sense and avoid obstacles in self driving cars AI machines have learned chess, checkers, go, jeopardy which are very complex games and they are beating the experts in these game. Okay. Now AI are also learning to do creative work like write stories, make artistic painting, etc. Okay. So, what are the applications of AI? gaming natural language processing expert system vision system so the vision system they understand interpret and comprehend visual input on the computer for example a spying aeroplane takes photographs which are used to figure out spatial information or map of the dock areas doctors using clinical expert system to diagnose the patient police can use the computer software that can recognize the face of the criminal with the stored portrait made by the forensic artist okay then speech recognition already i said natural language processing so there one part is speech recognition so that means what a person is and who the person is okay handwriting recognition what a person is writing that also can be recognized intelligent robots okay so the robots are able to perform the task given by human they have sensors to detect physical data from the real world right they have efficient processors multiple sensor and a huge memory to exhibit intelligence in addition they are capable of learning from their mistakes and can adapt to their new environment okay so now i am coming to the conclusion of today's class All right but before we leave there are three domains of ai which i would like you to go to these particular websites and explore by yourself what are these so data for data you can go to affinity.com and here you can play the rock paper and scissor game right i know you are very much interested in this game right another one is computer vision okay i would like if you play this game on your mobile okay and the third one is natural language processing this is a mystery animal with google.com okay all these links you are going to find in the description right so i would request you to explore these three domains of artificial intelligence in action till we meet again and please subscribe to my channel okay so that's all for today goodbye